Hello, hello and welcome everyone. I don't know if you've noticed, but one, I'm on camera now. You get to see my face. Um, some of you may like that, some of you that may make you very sad. You also may have noticed, just 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 by chance, that um <clears throat> I am dressed up. Some of you might be like, Shallon, why do you look like a Jedi? And all I can say is, you know what, villagers in Minecraft, they are the Jedi of Minecraft. Yeah, that was not a good sentence. But that's what we're here. We got our arms folded. We got our uh, face on the screen. We can make our errs, err, err sounds. And uh, we are going to basically play Minecraft a little bit different today. We are going to make ourselves look like a good old Gerald. Now, you may notice he is not in his villager robes. That is an unfortunate mistake. But it is Gerald, and Gerald is a villager. And so we are going to make our way through this wonderful new world. We just started fresh. And uh, we're just going to play as if we were a villager instead of a Steve. Don't get me wrong. Steve is great. Alex is great. They're wonderful. But, um... Gerald knows what's up. The villagers knows what's up. And so, as you can see, we are dressed up like a villager. Like a villager. Not a Jedi. Definitely not a Jedi. But as a villager. And uh, we're going to live that villager life today. <clears throat> First thing we need to do, though, and I think it is very, very important to the success of our journey, is to um, get us going and finding a villager. Hey, Magic! Face cam. Yes, there is a face cam. And hello, Sir Silver. You have missed nothing. Um, some of you may have noticed I have not been around a stream for a while. And that's because my robotics club was participating in the first uh, robotics competition. They won the Rookie Inspiration Award. Um, their robot caught on fire. And a lot of different things. So they, they did really well. I'm proud of them. But it is Minecraft time. And first thing we need to do is we need to find a village. And I need to quit staring at my face on camera now. Because I know some of you just want to see it. Most of you just want to see me jump and see it and see it in the real life here. Hello, puppies. Hi, Obi-Wan. Now, okay, I will ad admit, this is this is a repurposed Obi-Wan cosplay. My girlfriend made it for me. It looks fantastic when my hair is a little bit longer and I'm a little more Jedi-y. But, um, yeah, we're using this for villager robes. Because why not? Get us, get us looking close to good old villager time. But we're going to find a village. And uh, in the background, for those who are curious... Um, we were playing around with a lot of special rules last time and some of them were a little excessive and hard to keep track of So in the background, I have been working on a plugin That will help automate a lot of those crazy rules and help provide the real villager experience You just know your own face is handsome and can't stop looking at yourself, eh? You are correct, Sir Silver Nothing better than narcissism that is for sure. <clears throat> Alright, we need to get ourselves integrated into a society, though. And the only way to get ourselves integrated into a society is to find a village. I would absolutely love if there was a village in this spruce forest over here. And there very well could be. It just depends on if we can find it or not. Should have been born into a village. Yeah. I definitely should have. Would have made this a lot easier. Choose, choose a villager as your papa. Yes. Yes. And uh, I can start by crouching so I'm like shorter until I grow up. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. I like that idea. Okay. We can harvest these. We don't need any, any fancy. Oh, I planted one. I always do that with these. Ow. Oh, that's how I died last time, if I remember correctly. Alright, come on. Come on, game. Take us to a village. 
I want a beard too. It's okay, Magic. Uh, one day you will grow a beard just like me. And some of the other randoms. I'm pretty sure Nimrel and Lady Peanut Fish, Creamsicle, Baby Peanut, all of them are rocking glorious, glorious beards, I'm sure. And that's just the random women. Random men got probably got some crazy ones too. Sir Silver. <clears throat> the killer berries. Yes, definitely the killer berries. And uh, I get Sir Silver. Ooh, okay. We will pick up these chickens. And their feathers. Pick up this. Those chickens must have died from this cow over here. We've got some killer cows on the loose. Sir Silver, you got a beard, can't get rid of it. I, I feel that. Every once in a while, I want to shave mine off, and then I look like a baby. All right, game. Oh, whoops. No! Don't plant them. Eat them. What's stellar thinking? I'm so used to doing very unintelligent things in this game. But I'm not entirely sure which stellar thinking you are referring to. Because I have good ideas all the time. Alright, villagers, come on. Nah, it just grows too fast so I can't shave it as off as too much acne from wearing masks. Ah, yes. The mask days. Just a tale as old as time. I feel like there was a Star Wars reference I could have made there, but I couldn't. Ah, uh, concluding the cow was a killer. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see any other creatures there. Just two cows, a lot of dead chickens. So when we get to the village, we're not going to spin today. What uh, what villager do you guys... Uh, oh, this is Glowberry Forest. What uh, what villager do you think we should... um? Should we take the role of? as you passed five wolves in a box. I did not say I was the most observant, man. I mean, the villager AI is sketchy as best, and my AI is also sketchy at best. Blacksmith. Okay, blacksmith. Are we going to be a toolsmith or a weaponsmith? I <laughs> committed a murder. That is really hard to pronounce. Murder. Man, that is rough. Yeah, they did, though. Come on, game. Where be the villages? I need to find a village before it gets too dark and spooky. Weaponsmith. All right. Sir Silver has decided. Weaponsmith, armorer, or toolsmith. I mean, those are kind of our three choices. For sure. I'm definitely... That was a weird yawn. Flip the three-sided coin. That would just be a pyramid, right? Which leads to a pyramid scheme. Ah, an azalea. An azalea bush. Thanks, now I'm yawning. You are so welcome. See, that is the downside to the face cam. Someone yawns, you can see that yawning take place. And then you yawn. And then somebody in the same room. Pyramid has five sides. Yeah, but I only count the pointy sides. Also, I'm pretty sure you can get away with a pyramid. Nope, a real pyramid has four. And then a bottom. What's it called when you have a three-sided pyramid? I wonder if that has a fancy special name. Oh, the mysteries of life I never thought I would ponder while dressed up like a Jedi pretending to be a villager in a computer game. Sad, sad stuff. <clears throat> but you are right. A pyramid would have traditionally has five sides. Let's see. Villagers! Maybe they'll hear me calling out to them. A tetrahedron. That sounds right. 
but I'm not even going to pretend to have any knowledge if that is correct or not. I mean, it definitely, definitely makes sense to me that that is an option that could be. The one nice thing about it about to become night is once it becomes night, you can sometimes see the village lights in the distance. And that helps guide you there. But I, uh, I don't know. Also, question for the chat. How is my microphone? I've, uh, tweaked a few things. Besides just adding a camera. I mean, that, that clearly happened as well. But, uh, hopefully you can hear me. I don't sound all far off in the distance. Too quiet? French kiss. Ah, so you can hear me just fine and dandy then. Glorious. I spent some time trying to make a lavalier mic work earlier and... Oh, there is a skeleton. And a baby! Nope, nope, nope. Stay away from baby. Mike. Nope. Not allowed near zombie children. They scare me. Ah, oh, why am I being shot? No, stop it, skellies. I wish so much that I could recall the name of the seed. We found a seed last time. It was some form of Shallon Dark, I believe, where there was a villager right... Oh, there's another skeleton. And a zombie with a sword. And a spider. And a dark forest. I don't know if we're going to survive. Survive this. Night. There's creeper over there. Enderman. Running right towards two skeletons. Not gonna do that. No, stop! Oh, maybe they're, are they attacking each other now? Oh, I should have died there. I really should have. But they decided that attacking each other was more important than dealing with me. Any lights off in the distance. Hmm. I don't see any. I just I feel so alone out in this world here. There's just no no villages anywhere nearby. I swim kind of fast though. That makes me feel cool. Oh, this is coarse dirt. I'm like, why is there no grass here? Well, it's podzol and coarse dirt. And there's like three skeletons. Two more skeletons. Oh, I got caught on there. That was some great dodging there, Shallon. That was that was pro moves. You guys see that? I saw that. That was pretty cool. I'm gonna die falling off of a tree or something trying to run away from that stuff. This is such a big biome. There's got to be Is that light? No, I'm just making up stuff. Darn. Where be the villages? Weaving and dodge. You know, normally I don't weave, nor dodge. So I think that was a pretty good... Oh, there's... No, stop. Ah, okay. Sneaky villager. So, <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try. I'm going to remake this world. But instead of calling it Shallon Dark, we're gonna put we're gonna separate the Shallon Dark and see if that's the seed that looked so nice last time. Cause I really like that seed. Set it to hard. We will turn on bundles. We will turn on update 1.20. Ah, Neon Seed. I feel like I like pronounced that wrong. But there was a village like right there, and it was just ah, oh, it was nice. There was all kinds of houses and villagers. See, I, I, I can't talk with my hands when I'm looking at myself. Because there, there's a slight delay between what I see. I can do, like, magic fingers and stuff. I, I was, you know, that would have been cool if George Lucas would have made this be, like, the Jedis. They're like, woo, the Force. Oh, wait, that's that's Palpatine, huh? That's the dark side. That's how they shoot lightning. Like, oh, now I really wish I had some filters that, like, let me shoot lightning out of my hands right now. It's Naya. Naya. Naya seed. Naya seed. What makes... Okay. There are turtles! I freaking love turtles. 
sheeps. This is not the seed I was thinking. But oh yeah, the the Naya cap. I always pronounced it as Nyan with an N. Well, guys, this has spawned us in a village, and by turtles. I don't think I don't think we could have a better scenario. Hello, villagers. Err. 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 Oh wait, you're the nitwit. I don't want to talk to you. Err. Err. Did you see that that chorus of err? Yes. Yes, we are all friends. You must teach me proper Naya. All right, we need to pick a proper house for us to start as. There are a lot of grindy toolsmith people here. Hmm. All right, well, this will be our village. This is where I think this is going to be our house, but let's try a couple more. If we pick that house, we start with a chest. Little workstation. We start with a chest in this house, too. Choose your father. I am your father. Ah, I see. Yes. All right, which one of these villagers? Well, if we're going to be... I see a lot of... A lot of weaponsmiths here. So, I feel like if the village is full of weaponsmiths, I feel like it's only right and proper that we follow in the stead of... The weaponsmiths. They want coal. There's him. Him. <clears throat> okay, right house or left house? <coughs> All the weaponsmiths are your uncles and cousins. I, I can get behind this. This scenario makes sense. Ooh, that has a purple bed. Ah, uh, leather -er. The answer to all questions. This is meant for you. The answer to all questions is middle. Okay. So be it. What is this weird double double house you know this this house kind of makes sense to me because there's grindstones out in reddit oh nope there's no grindstones but this is the Faja's bedroom and this would be this would be mine so I think this will be this will be our home oh okay since this is my house I have no problem Rating it for materials. Okay. This is my bed. This is now my respawn point. I've got some potatoes, some ferns. All right. Now, let's go see what we can buy. Shall in the first fire story begin. Hopefully, hopefully this is the only shall we have to deal with today. Okay, so I need... I need some tools. We don't have an actual... Wait. You sold an axe. Alright, well we can buy an axe. So we're gonna buy an axe. Okay. And let's get, uh, let's get some of these trees just out of the way in the village right now. Let's start with that. That seems like a good plan to me. This, this axe feels like it has efficiency. Either that or I'm just not used to using iron axes. Because that was... That was gathering really, really fast. There's my house again. This is where I live, right? Yeah. Four...
Good game of that. That is a big log. This is just... There's a lot of these trees that are just like right in the way. <laughs> Shao and the Last story ends. Yeah, Shao and the Last was not um, particularly bright, I would say. It's just like, you know, cutting a floating tree down. Such a weird thing. I kind of get why it doesn't just like make me fall normally, but you know. Okay. Shallon out of context. What did I say this time that was out of context? I feel like I'm so out of context all the time that me being out of context is in context. Pretty sure how that works, right? Such a weird little whatever generation that was. Let's see. What kind of things Would a toolsmith village need? Hello, Nitwit. Two houses in the same spot. Hmm. I'm trying to get all these trees out of the way so we can actually see what we're dealing with. They've made a lot of these houses out of cobble. Which just kind of seems silly to me. I don't know. <coughs> well, toolsmiths are usually good carpenters as they have to make handles and repair their workstations, etc. That is true. You know, I think all we have, though is weaponsmiths. So I feel like that would make... If, if we have weaponsmiths, I feel like these guys would be uh, a little more likely to, like, go to war. May I make a quest? You can certainly throw some quests out. What, uh, what do you... What, what you thinking, Sir Silver? What do you feel like these villagers want to see in their little villager town. Soon we'll be able to see all around the village. I mean, it's already opening up a lot of... A lot of space and a lot of zones here. Puppy. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I think I read that, but may I make a quest? Of course you can, Sir Silver. Of course you can. What you, what you thinking? Double stars. So many tall single trees in this village. Let's 
see, let's see, let's see. We have so many saplings. Oh, it's slowly becoming nighttime. I would argue we need to work till at least midnight. Then we can go sleep in our our home under the roof of the Faja. Not yet. Nope. It's just barely becoming easy. There we go. Got that. Hmm. So we're, we're going to have a lot of wood to construct with soon, though. So that's going to be nice. I almost feel like this village with its weaponsmith ways is sort of like Viking-esque. The village itself doesn't look like that right now. But Oh, I saw a chicken running over there and I thought it was like a zombie swarm or something. I was all ready for death and destruction to have to take place. Oh, I'm going to run out of this axe before midnight and then I'm going to end up probably trying to fight something with it. Keep knocking down trees. Shallon Juan Kenobi. <laughs> there we go. That is true. As, as as the match goes on, the robe opens up more and more, and I start to become more like a Jedi in appearance, as opposed to when it's all closed, then I look more like a villager. However, when it's all closed, it's also like 10,000 degrees, and it's hot. But we're we're keeping it on for now. Gotta be, gotta, gotta be in the attire. Lag. I do a face cap, but I'm not sure I can fit the horn in the frame. It's okay. Maybe if you just get rid of the face that nobody wants to see, and uh, just put the horn out there, which is clearly your most unique and defining feature. For the record. All right. Oh, hey. Jeez. There's some violence going on today. There's a skeleton over there, but I don't want to take them on. That just seems like a terrible idea. Okay, all right. Rude. That's fair. I, I I knew it as I said it, lag. I knew it as I said it. Oh, that was your mother-in-law. Oh, okay. That's how that works, huh? Excuse me. Excuse me. Get out of my house. This is my bed. Come on. What are you thinking? <clears throat> Get out of my house. All right, how are we doing on the tree cleanup? That's a little bit better. We can at least see this way now. There's still some random floaty leaves, but I think they're going to go away. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Why are you not burning? Dodge and weave. There we go. Now he's burning. There we go. I actually did think he was going to turn around there and get me. I got a little scary. Oh, man. Okay, well... I don't like this tree. But my axe is almost dead. Did you accept the quest? I didn't actually see the quest for some reason. So I'm not sure what the quest that I would be accepting is. You may have to enlighten me. Also, in honor of the Doolin. Let's have a Mountain Dew, which is apparently not cooperating with the green screen. So that's, that's cool. That's like, it's like drinking liquid. 
Yeah, see, when you're posting that quest, I'm just seeing double stars. Yeah, it's not coming through. That's weird. I wonder if there's some weird filter or like whatever that I'm unaware of on the thing. Maybe try posting it a word at a time. Because I did see that you reposted it. I don't know, yeah. There's one star. Yeah, asterisk, I guess. That's what it's coming across as. It's just showing up as an asterisk. That's weird. That's something I'm sure I'll have to fix at some point. Ah, here we go. Now I can see it for some reason. The mayor has been sent to the words. I know how to read sometimes. I promise. The mayor has been considering growing the weapon production to trade with the Nerby city. I know you met nearby. I'm just being facetious. However, they have requested bows and arrows in addition to normal purchases. Help your cousin become a Fletcher by making and acquiring a Fletching table. Ah. That would, you know, that would make sense. If we have one more Fletcher here, that frees up a grindstone for me to learn the tricks of the trade. I think we may have to take this quest on. Eat some sweet berries to heal. All right. So in order to do that, first things first. Let's see. We need to go hunt for some flint. Which means we'll stick our head in the water. Ah, there's some gravel. And just since we don't have a shovel. Hopefully we can find some. You need meat. Berries are for chumps. That is true. Meat is better. There's some fish right over there. Could handle them. Oh, jeez, I'm drowning. We don't want to drown. I'm surprised how hard it is to find flint. Berries have killed. Yes. Food is dangerous, okay? Jeez. Food is. Oh, did I get some flint that time? No, I just quit breaking the thing. Here I was all excited thinking I was getting the flint. More to the point. <clears throat> fair. Fair, 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 fair. Come on, game. Alright. I think that this is going to take forever with the current strategy. Place above non full block by block and falls. Ah! Also, fun fact, meat consumed as a comfort food is an emotional support animal. My goodness, Slag. That is insane. Oh, that is awesome. Although, I'm, I'm guessing <laughs> that's not how it works. Oh. Let's see. Place above a non-full block. What is a non-full block in the vicinity? Are torches non-full blocks? Above plaque. Something tells me this isn't what you're telling me to do either. This is like thinking Shallon face. Trying to parse what you're telling me to do. Okay, so. Place above a non-full block by block and falls faster to get gravel. Oh, 
Oh, wait, if I jump off of this, that's just gonna hurt. I'm pretty sure that's not what you want. Axe shovel. Oh, I got a piece of flint! I got one piece. Axe shovel. Yeah, I don't have a shovel yet. I'm not cool enough. There's no toolsmiths in this village. All they know how to do is make weapons of war. So we're gonna do this the old fashioned way. But pillaring up! Just too bad it wasn't like, you know, emeralds. Hi, puppy! Hi, B! Alright, come on, break. Oh, yes. That, that I remember doing. The one time I made a guardian farm. I was going to make a guardian farm. All right. Um, cool. All right, where is the Faja? I need a crap. There's so many of them. Here. All right, guys. I need you to process the wood. Process the wood for me. Oh, cool. Thanks for processing the wood. I appreciate it so much. Oh. Here, make me a crafting table. Oh, cool, guys. Thanks. I've always wanted a crafting table of my own. Oh, here's the, uh... Here, process me some more wood, please. Alright, where is my house? Here is my house. Get out of the way, nitwit. Oh, this isn't my house. There's weird things in that chest. Okay. This must be my house then. Nope, that's not my house either. Where is my house? Where did I live? Let's get to work. It isn't over. I mean, I know it was one of those double double-sided houses and then you go up oh wait this is my house I just I remember because I put this stuff back in because I didn't see in there need to carry it around with me. I don't have room for my crafting table in my house so I'm gonna have to oh I didn't need to make a crafting table my Faja had a crafting table well I wanted to be cool like him so now I have my own crafting table, and it can live under these stairs. What is the recipe for this? Ah, okay. However, I am one emerald short because I, I'm not a Fletcher, so I need to pay somebody else to make the Fletchery table. Or I run off on an adventure and try to find another village that has it. But I don't feel like doing that. So. We have hopes of becoming a toolsmith. Like my father before me. At least I think that's how the Star Wars book goes. Well, if you're wondering what's happened. <laughs> so am I. The computer that we have running our news from... Ah, uh, good old Mountain Dew. Honor of Dolan. 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 However you want to pronounce his name. Hello, Iron Golem. Can you make me a fletching table? No? Okay, then. I don't know why they keep sleeping up here. It's, it's, it's silly. It's silly and ridiculous. Is that? Oh, that's a bee. Could not tell what that was flying out there in the distance. Hmm. Let's see. Can make an axe, and I can make swords. Let's see. How can I make one more emerald? Well, first let's sleep before it gets too 
too dark and spooky and scary outside. Get out of the bed. Just always there in the way. Really needs to get his own place. You know, there's a lot of pumpkins around this village. That could be one way to get emeralds. Except I believe our pumpkin sales are a tier 2 trade. So that's not going to work. Hmm. Oh no! Did I, hopefully I didn't destroy the farmer's crops. I'm not sure if I destroyed the crops or if he dropped a carrot. I feel like he dropped a carrot. That's pretty cool. Hmm. I'm um, sir. You shouldn't be up there. It's dangerous. Oh, I see. He climbed up the pumpkins. I understand. Okay, help me, help me make it, make, help me, oh, words, 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 words taste weird. Okay, so, <clears throat> the toolsmiths sell axes, right? I feel like that would mean that some of them might be warriors, and some of them might be carpenters, and I don't see any reason why. We couldn't sell wood to a carpenter. Because all that's going to happen when we sell that wood is I'm going to get a fake emerald, which I would then spend with the carpenter to make the fletching table. Is my logic sound? Can I sell wood to the carpenter to get him to make a crafting table for me? What say ye, Almighty oh, Stream Chat? I feel I feel like I look so noble and regal. I'm sure I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't, but I feel like it, and that's 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 what's important, right? So while you guys ponder and reflect and help me make decisions in this moment, I'm gonna sit here and try to look cool. Like a villager. Or a washed up Jedi. But if y'all don't make the decision quick, then I'm just going to make it myself. And if I make it myself, the answer is going to probably be yes. You have until the breakdown of the beat. Oh, I am a terrible person and I apologize. So I figured out what was going on. Figured it out. So you guys have been talking to me and for some reason my chat wasn't scrolling. So let's let's go through here. Yo, Purple Squid Man. Hey, Gamer Fox, if you're still around. I apologize that I did not acknowledge you sooner. Uh, it was all lies. He was a Jedi all along. I highly recommend finding a fox friend in the spruce forest. Since I am dressed up like this, it means I'm not my normal shallowy self. And yes, I probably should find a fox friend. He has it made fox stew. <clears throat> I am the Fasha. Silver, so uncool. That was your house, the second floor. Nitwits. Foxes are friends, not food. Soylent green, friends can be food. But they killed my friends. The chickens <coughs> dying, hence their food. Your dad be sleeping in your room again. We don't kill cats though, unless you're magic and you kill them for string or heads. Facts. Your father is a character getting drunk, sleeping in your room, and climbing on roofs. Gotta run, have fun, Shelly. Goodbye, lag. I'm sure you've already left. All villagers that work on tools should, should be able to make handles and repair their stations. Later lag, also gotta run later squid. Peace, silver. Goodbye, Gamer Fox, who's probably already left. Okay, so. Just making sure that chat is actually scrolling. If you'll give me one moment to figure out 
why? I apologize for you just staring at me here. There we go. Hopefully that's fixed. There we go. Okay, cool. All right, time to be moving around and doing things. Should I uh, put some death berries? Well, we're going to eat the other two. A villager has to be able to make two handles since villagers can work with wood. Okay, all right. So, in that case, what is the trade? The trade rep. I'm thinking at least 16 logs per emerald. Though in some ways I want to go for 64. But I feel like 16 is an okay number. What say ye chat? Make Fletcher equals stick trades. For sure. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm trying to find the justification. So we'll go ahead. Okay, hello, um, sir. Excuse me, I would like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and I believe I picked one up. There. Now I have a fake emerald. Oh, hey, thank you so much for crafting. The Fletcher Station for me. Villagers that know how to do things. Appreciate it so much. Alright, and you decide... <clears throat> Let's just put that somewhere. I won't accidentally pick it up. Until it despawns. There we go. Alright, let's make the Fletcher's house. Alright, somebody come be a Fletcher! Come be a Fletcher, please. Hi. Oh, you know what? If I, in hindsight, if I'm a toolsmith like my father before me, I didn't need to pay villagers to make the wooden stuff, do I? Think, Shallon, think. Well, I'll be lurking for now. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough, sir. All right, so we now have a fletching table. We have a fletching villager. But, um, we need to convince one of our cousins that, um, being a fletcher is cooler than being a toolsmith. Oh no! Your grindstone is broken! Oh, yes, you have discovered the joys of doing that. Perfect. All right, let us craft ourselves. Now that I realized I am a weaponsmith, I can do this. Let's craft ourselves a wooden axe. There we go. Now that we have a wooden axe, we can make all the sticks. I may be getting a little excessive with the sticks. They're all dancing at the, the pool party at the town square. Oh, I didn't know you could just make flint. That's cool. Oh, his prices. Your prices are ridiculous. Must still be mad that I broke his, uh, his table. 
He just sold me a lot of emeralds. And I thank him for that. However, where's the one I already bought a nice axe from? Smite 2. Knockback and Bane of Arthropods. Smite 2. That one has a bow. Hmm. So we definitely want to get rid of that axe. Because an iron axe would just be so much better. We need to go talk to a farmer. We need some food. Uh, yes, the nitwit is taking a bath outside. Oh, there's not even any water in there. I don't think it realizes that that's not how baths work. There we go. Alright. Excuse me, farmer villagers. Alright. As a forest dweller, I feel like we should be able to make some mushroom stew. That just seems like something I'd be able to do, having grown up in a spruce village. Seems, it seems reasonable to me. Let's go see if we can find some mushrooms before the monsters come out. There is more berries. I need to sustain myself. I'm gonna sustain my berries. I just saw a skeleton. Please don't shoot me anything dark and scary. Oh, that is a berry bush trying to kill me. <clears throat> it's always crazy having to like stare up into the sky. Am I hear a zombie or am I just making crunching sounds? Hopefully. It's just crunching sounds. Alright. That's that's enough food for now. Let's go sleep! Before we get attacked again in the middle of the night. Don't want that. For sure. Oh. Leave my village alone. There's way too many zombies out. I forgot how quickly the berries grow. They grow pretty quick. Really need to get him his own bed. Nothing do. That is a lot of. Scared the pants right off of him. I don't know why this villager is all the way out in the desert area. That seems a little silly. But I could huh? certain. Oh, he hasn't restocked his trades yet. Well, that's sad. I need to sell you more sticks. Oh, that poor fish! Get in the water. There you go. The one time that I ever helped save a fish in Minecraft. They all need to just be punched. Oh, that's a lot of stuff that I wasn't supposed to see. Oops. That's just habit. Go in the building, open the chest. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. This is... That, no, that's not my house. This is my house. I don't want to get too crazy with those because I am worried that the villagers will walk into them. It's a weird place for a squid. Just saying, Mr. Squid. Ow. Those bushes are going to be the death of me. No. It's not a good thing. Oh, 
All right, we have a small Fletcher. Still hasn't restocked his traits. Oh, I think he's going to his house finally to restock them for us. Yes, please. Oh, I can't be holding something he trades or he thinks I want. There we go. Such easy emeralds. It almost feels dastardly. All right, we have. That's the smite guy. Where's the like one of the grindsmith tool people I already traded with? Oh, that's not a good place to get stuck, guys. You want to turn into a zombie? Because that is how exactly how you turn into a zombie. Ah, you're the one who's already traded with me. There's a lot of upgrading that we just went through there. And he will buy iron. Well, at least we bought a whole bunch of axes now. So we won't run out for quite a while. We also have a bow, which I'm not uh, not quite used to using. Nope, no chicken in that egg. That in there, that in there, that in there. Oh, from the witch. That's how we got the redstone. I was a little confused there for a second. Still got five. Don't really have a good source of food. What is our farmer buying? Potatoes and carrots. I mean, we do have a potato and carrot we could try to grow. Let's see if we can turn that into a farming empire. This house is so small. I don't think the pod, though, is going to be very happy. But we got to do some remodeling here. This just is not going to work for me. Get all the clutter out of there. And as a weaponsmith, I can make axes, which means I can process wood. So we will do that. Which will allow us to start ripping down this building. Because, you know, it's it's villager transformation time, he thinks. to make our house the grandest house in all the land. That's me almost falling to my death. Not a good thing. Don't want to do that. I 
There's just so much to this house. There's a more efficient way to destroy this. Probably TNT. I feel like TNT is always the answer. Burn it down as an accident, then your Faja wouldn't be mad. Plus, then I could collect the insurance money, right? Get a good, like, you know, 100,000 in emeralds to, uh, to rebuild. But if we go with your narrative, he's, uh, he's too drunk to really know what's going on anyways. But we could put a second bed in there so that he'll quit using... Using the one I keep trying to sleep in. Oh, that glass pain sound is pretty intense. Ooh. A little bit of like jazz p ragtime piano. Not ragtime. That is not ragtime. Big badge piano, maybe. Oh, and now it's gone to like tech. Interesting. Here's a choice scale. Hi, I'm new. Yo, how do I join you? Hello and welcome. So this is uh this is just not a single player world. But um, we are currently in the process of, I guess you could say, building a starter home and transforming this village into a village for all of these villagers. That's a little bit better than the, uh, the stock stuff. All right, so for a night or two, we're gonna need to come Sleep outside, I guess. Under the st there we go. New resaw point. Need to come and make another. Oh, we can use this. There we go. Actually, I guess I could have spent an emerald to have someone else craft it for me. Oh, that's all good. We'll just go like this. We're almost, almost got it knocked down. Andrew says, oh, okay. Do, do, do. Come on, break down. Oh, I'm going to accidentally click on that golem, and he is going to yeet me into the sky. I can already feel it. It's going to happen. Hmm. I feel like it might be dark enough. Just a little outdoor... I don't care if he wants to go camping. Right? This is my bed. Get out of it. There we go. Okay. House is almost small enough. Let's get this knocked down and out of the way. <coughs> so we can start building a proper starter home. Bust out the windows. That is a that is a satisfying sound when it makes that what, that glass crack. Oh, I'm gonna actually hit that golem if he's hiding right there, aren't I? I don't wanna do that. Do not wanna get yeeted. That would be a sad day for sure. 
I should also probably take care of my health soon. Because this is hardcore. And you don't want to die in the hardcore. There is no shall in the second or third. Just shall in the first in this. It just seems to be more of a more rigorous, more intense. Like camping. I don't know why anytime I hear the word intense anymore, I have to make that stupid like camping joke. Do you get it? Like, oh, that was intense. Like camping? Yeah, because you go camping intense. I don't know why I just have this involuntary reaction to make that joke every single time. It's pretty silly. I don't know. Hopefully I'll move past it at some point. But we'll see. Almost got this knocked down. We're so close. It's always weird, like, because I tend to just run to, like, diamond tools and armor. Because I can get there relatively quickly if I wanted to actually devote my time. But, um... Yeah, we're trying to take this a little slower, a little more peacefully. Integrate ourselves into the village. Why do they have to stand, like, right there? There, get up. Let's see if eating some of these uh, berries help get us going a little bit better. We're gonna start getting some health back. That's always fun. Uh, let's move this out of the way. Okay. So, realistically, if this is where our house is going. Do I want to put it on the stone foundation? We do have it. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, let's go for. We'll just keep it a nice simple. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're not gonna get crazy big. The idea is starter house. Not ultra mansion thing. Okay. That's our cobblestone foundation. Huh, do I want to do 3D pillars or do I want to do. Two, three. Do I have any dirt right now? No. Alright, well, let's get rid of some of this weird path. Fill in the ground a little bit. I need one, two, three, four more. Although we will be ripping that out at some point, so. Hmm. Let's see. It's a weird location. Do I want the door on the left or the right? I think I actually want it on the right.
place more stairs. Yeah, okay, I'm okay with that. Some trap doors. Which means, um, just making a small little. I did not realize how close this was to this little central well thing that may have to be moved at some point. But for now it's okay, I think. Um, or a double window there. Center the door. Maybe I do. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not, but we'll try. That'll be the door. those. Um, I would like uh, barrels, I think. a little better. a little bit better. Why are you going in there? There's, oh, you're just passing through the construction zone. You know something could fall on you. All right, we need to we need to cut down some more trees, or we're not gonna have enough wood to finish this particular build. So weird building like a starter base. Normally I like go try and kill the dragon before I even start any construction in a world. I don't know why, it's just what I've always uh, felt like I needed to do. 
I just keep sleeping in my bed. Get crazy. Right, come back over here to the the new construction. Um, down on the ground. We'll go ahead and go with. Okay, we need to make a shovel. This is a shovel will help us gather this quicker than not having one. Why do I hear zombies? Daytime. Uh, it's probably underneath for some reason. You're gonna get yourself stuck in here. Oh, he figured out how to do that. I will admit that's actually kind of impressive that he he figured out how that door that's floating up in the air works. Alright, um, I'm gonna need to make some more slabs. That's probably excessive, but maybe that's fine. Don't get yourself trapped, please. Alright, so it comes in. You have this slightly smaller building. And as soon as you step in, pair of stairs. Wait, we don't want the stairs to go in front of the window though. enough for the floor for the next level we'll see okay okay all righty folks well that is the start of the start of sure house in a villager's life we got a lot of cool ideas coming up for this particular series. Um, hopefully less Jedi and a little bit more villager, for sure. Um, but we got the ground floor in. We'll get uh, we'll get handled this and get this uh, starter villager home built, so that my little villager and uh, his Faja can uh, can start to exist and help grow and develop this village. Um, you will start seeing some more streaming. Now that we're done with that robotics competition that I was helping coach, um, a lot of time is freed up, and uh, we're going to get some cool things going on the channel, both in traditional village villages, my goodness, traditional videos, and uh, in the live streams as well. So I hope you guys all have a wonderful evening, and I will see you guys later, and thank you so much for joining me tonight. Uh.